No, there's no intros for this. They, they know what it is. Project Saint. No, we do have some special guests in here. Well, we got the OG in here. My old co-host, Seven. Hey, boys. How y'all doing? Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh. And are we going with Bia? What's the name we going for you, player? Uh, make sure. <laughs> uh, we can use my full name. It's fine. Okay, so we got Beatrice on here. Hello. <laughs> Sound like she make a mean ass hog head cheese. Somebody say fuck me in the asshole. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a country oh, ass man. You know she. You know her food. That call her. Yeah. The main topic <laughs> is resellers. It, it's kind of weird how that shit like kind of. How did that get there? I wouldn't I say it started you, with. Let's go push the shit out. Jesus Christ, what's going on with my podcast? Kiki, what the hell? Anyways, it's kind of weird how it didn't. I won't even say it started with sneakers because back in the day, the PS3 was going for crazy numbers too. But it's kind of weird how we're six months in and the PS5 is still like hard to sell to get. Even a damn Xbox. I, I never thought I'd say that. That shit's selling out too. How y'all niggas feel about that shit? I feel like it's harder to get a five than it is for the for the Series X. I feel like it, it's it's possible to get a Series X, but that five, yeah. That five is on lockdown. You have an easier time finding the Dragon Balls or no Dragon Radar. <laughs> I mean, I know a place. I know two places to get the five. Uh, you just gotta be extra sneaky about it. Guess not. Oh, where? What's let one of the roll, places? Let me roll with you tomorrow night so we can go investigate these areas. Y'all yeah. talking crazy. Yeah. I already know what he's about to say. Yeah. We get go two on. fives. Go on. We're we go, go on. Go on. I'm listening. Yeah. Let's just, let's just say uh, Saint should lock his doors tomorrow night. Oh. Oh, shoot. She wouldn't. Ah, Saint. Nigga. Ah. <laughs> I don't know, like that. That shit is fucking weird. It's like everything's fucking selling out. You got fucking niggas reselling Pokemon cards, That's all that. baseball cards, niggas, basketball niggas, cards. Niggas sold niggas. Wasn't it, didn't it go for like digital 2K? cards? Didn't it go for like two K or like more than that, more than like that? It's getting out of hand, bro. It's like, what the fuck? I'll never forgive that one nigga for buying like twenty PS fives. And then trying to resell that shit. And then that nigga bro, got robbed. I was so happy when that nigga got robbed because bro, he just did that shit. It was it was probably like not the it was probably like at the beginning stages when the five first came out. I saw this one dude. He had like a whole it was like, you know, when you was a little kid and you made like forts and shit with a bunch of boxes. And nigga, he had yeah, a shit ton of a PS5 just stacked. It was like four rows of PS5s. I was like, dude, how? But you gonna sell them for thousand? You gonna sell them for like a thousand or fifteen hundred, bro? What? If you don't sell these things for five hundred like they originally were, not making a profit though. Yeah, that's true. I don't think I, I don't think it should be a thousand, but it's like goddamn, like come on, bro. You gotta be stingy as hell and sell that control. Maybe. Don't give him no more ideas. Wait a minute. Maybe, Don't give him no ideas. Maybe if it's eight, I, I feel I feel like eight hundred should probably be eight hundred should be eight hundred should, should be should be it. Should be, maybe nine hundred. If I'm no. being if, no, 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 I'm I would pay for especially a digital. Or yeah, no, so what, so, digital, so, what would be, no, so what would be your price range then? For digital because it can't be five hundred like you because yeah, because it can't be five hundred like you said. Cause they ain't gonna make no profit. I'm saying at least like seven fifty on the, like the like the physical and like six hundred on a digital boy. Fucking eight hundred into a thousand dollars. Like you might as well just like build a PC at that point, bro. Like oh, that yeah. shit ain't worth it. I, I got the PS5 day one. It, that shit ain't worth no damn thousand dollars. I'm sorry. Or even the Xbox too. When that was going for buku money. That shit definitely not worth it. Nigga that shit said, not even worth five hundred. <laughs> Lamar Davis ass nigga. <laughs> I feel about. The, I can't say nothing. Bro, I feel about. I sold that shit for nine hundred. 
I feel about the Series X is if you already have a working Xbox One, whether it's the original or the recent one, the Wolf has, no, it, no, ain't really no, no, it ain't really no point to get it. It ain't really no point to get it. You're wrong. What's, no, you're wrong. The, you're wrong. You're wrong. What's, what, what's the point me, of getting it then? The Series X, the Series X, like, not to get into no gaming shit on this podcast, but like, it's significantly like better than like a, a regular like Xbox. But if you got like the X, well, the One X, I'm sorry, because they giving them stupid ass names um the one x if you got that then nah you don't need to like upgrade but if you have like this a regular like the, the xbox one <laughs> if you still want to be 60 yeah series x is gonna be worth it but it ain't worth no damn eight hundred dollars it's it's honestly not worth five hundred dollars to me but hey that people are knocking dudes heads open not just them, like a top five time time. I'm sorry, you said not do his heads open like literally or figuratively. Both. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> Niggas is on demon Both time. They definitely is. You got white people fighting in damn Wally World over Pokemon cards. I ain't seen Man, that. I'm not surprised by that. Look, I'm gonna keep it a bug. I'm not surprised by that. If it's one thing that white niggas love, it, well, white people, white people love, <laughs> it's Pokemon. They'll go to hell on earth for Pokemon. They arguably probably love that shit way more than way more than Japanese people do. Oh, don't let it be you, Pokemon. Oh, and don't let it be Yu Gi Oh either. <laughs> don't don't let it be Yu Gi Oh. Don't let it be Yu-Gi-Oh either. Niggas will act. Niggas will act out the show during the whole TCG tournament. Kind of hard to do it now, but how fast the game is on. Pa- talking about sixteen hundred. Oh, oh. <laughs> Imagine a Beyblade tournament. <laughs> you have to imagine. We, we we knew a guy who was. Niggas used to do Beyblade tournaments back in the day. Yeah, with little kids. Hey, I was, hey, I was outside every 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 Sunday outside having a Beyblade tournament. Nigga had the whole re up and everything. Let it rip. It's like shooting dice, right? Have y'all like paid resale for anything? No, I cannot Have remember the last time I played resale for shit. Cause I'm not a sneakerhead. That's your territory. You would know about that bigger. resale market. I paid resale for this uh, bigger a couple years ago. That was about it. It's just because it's it's like rare and they don't uh, they didn't reissue it. So you know, was never available anywhere outside of Japan. No. So other than that, I I don't want to pay resale, but I don't have to. Yeah, I usually just avoid paying resale in general, especially for sneakers. Cause that shit costs money I don't want to spend I can already barely get the shit I want to get for the price they're selling it at what make you think I want to get it from you yeah nigga I don't trust you nigga I don't know you at least I know Foot Locker ain't gonna fuck my shit up they definitely fuck your shit up they will I mean if Nike can bad luck. mess you up the Foot Locker will too yeah, like the fire they be vibes. back door Foot Locker has never led me astray yeah, resellers fucked me over on that. I haven't I haven't told it on on any podcast, but I'll tell the story here, here you know. Who we resellers was knocking hurt. heads open. Oh, Nike. <laughs> Man, listen. Resellers were knocking heads open for the fire reds. I couldn't hit. But my boy Seven, he hit for me, bro. He got him for retail. My size and all. Man, I got fucked over. And he jinxed that shit. Tell the people <laughs> what you fucking said. Seven. So I got the shoes. They shipped in my house. And I told uh, Jay, I'm like, hey, if the shoes came, come get them. And then all of he gets here and you get the box. And they're like, oh man, he's so happy. It looks like he, he's about to cry. And I'm like, hey, it'd be really funny if he, he's saying the wrong shoes. You know, I was just kidding. He gets home, texts me 15 minutes later. He's like, dude, they sent me the wrong shoes. <laughs> Pain. What made it worse? It was like some weird ass Air Force Reacts in the ugly ass color, and they were the wrong size too. I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? That nigga sent you his kid shoes. He probably did, bro. Cause 
I, I don't even know, bro. I just know that Nike was just like them niggas cannot explain how that shit happened. They were just like, oh, we don't know. Uh, uh, fix my you know, for a refund. Like, no, nigga, just send me my pairs, bro. And I think they did a restock a little after that too. Yeah, they did. It was stupid. East Bay is even worse. They never shipped out my shoes, and they wouldn't ship it. And then I think I, a month yeah, you later they restock it. I definitely oh, tried to get get some. I definitely tried to get some shoes shoes in there. Didn't go. Didn't go good. Uh, a pair of shoes I might have to pay re- resale for. They're about to come out. Those uh, Gundam SBs that that just leaked today, Jay. Yeah. Uh, if I don't oh, hit, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna have to pay resale for those because those are like the one collab I have to buy. Yeah, they ain't gonna be cheap either. No, but. You know, if I can spend a thousand dollars on a Gundam, I can spend quite a bit on a pair of shoes. Are Gundam related? <laughs> it's sad you gotta be like that, where you just like, oh no, I'm not getting it for retail. Yeah, it's just the reality of you know today's market. I think it's been like two years. Oh, well, technically last year I only had one shoe for retail, but that was out of like a damn near like a hundred releases. So I tried like every week and it was just a losing streak. And I think my Nike account's like shadow ban, bro. <laughs> Probably. What'd you do to them? What they did to me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think what else is like out of pocket that's like reselling. Oh, uh, can I contribute something about reselling? It might be a little off topic. No, go ahead. Spit, spit some for the people. Go okay. Ahead. Well, um, I, I know that uh, there was there there is a TikToker. Uh, he's disabled. I think he has cerebral palsy. He was actually talking about. Uh, I think it was Nike. They came out with a shoe that was uh, that like you could just step in and it'll like fold into like the regular shoe form. I if I'm not mistaken, it is Nike. And so um, people obviously bought it. And so they're reselling it for uh, stupid prices. And he used this platform to basically call out resellers who would do this because obviously like the shoe got a lot of backlash on, I guess, Twitter specifically, because that's the that's the um, social media that I consume more than any any other. So uh, I saw lots of takes on it and like about how how like calling it like lazy almost but what we what we as like able-bodied people see as lazy it could be like uh like a like a weight lifted off of someone who is disabled specifically who has cerebral palsy because they one like he probably can't even reach down to tie his shoes and like his um his hands are like visibly like um visibly disabled so he he probably can't even like tie his own shoes and so to think that someone who would benefit greatly from shoes like that can no longer afford it because of resellers but the nike because they they're making everything limited and it's just like come on bro y'all could have made that shoe more available like yeah mm-hmm. really like wh- why limit that what what sense does that make yeah and you know they didn't donate any pairs either. At all. They would never do that. I guess it's just corporate greed, I guess. I don't know. That's sorry. That's just <laughs> that's just my hatred for corporate America. <laughs> Mocha okay, Pat. That's fair. Cause they it may be tripping on a lot of shit. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, Nike Nike was never going was never gonna do <laughs> was never gonna donate their shoes. Y'all know the white y'all know the white man the white man oh, don't want to lose no type of money. Donate, bitch. You better pay me. Run me them pockets. I didn't give you that option. <laughs> so charities, what are you trying to get into? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, no, it's it's, it's Sorry, weird, I won't be donating there though. Cause like, no, nah, it, it's weird. Cause like Nike, they got it, caught. He, Nike's been on some scummy shit this year, bro. Like they got caught. With the uh, what's it? The vice president of uh, Nike America. Her son was a fucking re seller and was using like her or the company credit card 
definitely getting shoes for retail buying some at the clearance store and on the uh, nike headquarters it, it was some real shady shit you talking about that uh yeah. that lady's son of, yeah and they kind of just like brushed it over the rug or under the rug whatever and it's just like come on bro like y'all like y'all believe I, I like the fact that i even believe i had a chance really on like a sneakers app and that shit's been happening for years i don't I, that wasn't like months i mean that was been happening for like years like the kid the kid moved out to portland and got like a whole warehouse like he's on video in 4k on youtube whole collection and all and then the vanessa bryan shit bro it's like come on man y'all limited nikes and the shit hasn't stopped either because like Vanessa Bryant made a shoe for uh, her daughter Kobe. and for Kobe, and she didn't even get like she designed the shoe herself, and she didn't even get a pair. And but Chris Middleton got one of them holes. Yeah, like how the hell did he get a pair? And why did y'all ship out a pair to a store with a Nike license? Because it's pretty obvious y'all were trying to sell it. It's just like, come on, bro, like. And nothing was signed off for them to sell that pair because they don't own the uh, Mamacita logo. Uh huh. And she told them she wanted all the sales to go to the Mamacita uh, Foundation, or whatever. And you know, Nike's not going to do that. They could at least do like 80%. But you know, Nike, Nike is too fucking greedy. And that's one thing I like about Adidas is that, at least for them, they restock the shoes a lot. It, some yeah. people hate it because they say it kills the value and the hype. But I kind of disagree because, like, if you look at Yeezys, they're selling out every fucking week. No, for they only saying that shit because they want to resell them Adidas. That's why I've always fucked with Adidas, especially since I was little. Them niggas have always been a clutch for me. I mean, they're a lot more affordable too. Like, also, like, of course, Yeezys is gonna be like more expensive because like that's all the premium stuff and like boosts and all that but if you're just getting like regular Adidas they're pretty fucking affordable I know there's other shit that's getting out of hand too I know like Funkos and stuff it, it it's way different than what it used to be bro like man that shit is so ass what you mean so I remember I had I had sold my collection like a long time ago because I was like, I'm not, I don't, I'm not gonna be in the Funkos no more. And now I've got back into it slowly. And this Naruto Sage Moda Funko from the Paint Art, I got that shit for for like twenty bucks, like twenty five bucks. That shit now is going for like sixty bucks to like a hundred. And it was originally twenty dollars. Yeah, I got it. Twenty dollars. That's how much the market was, and and it doesn't make sense why it's like going for that much. All because of like a like a GameStop sticker. It's just like what the fuck. Like these Funkos were dirt cheap. They at retail they're like ten bucks, twelve bucks, depending on where you get it at. And they just be going for like way too much. Like a Bears one. I remember it used to be like sixty bucks. Like max, you you could have got it for like I could have got it for forty. I passed on it, and I regret that shit. Cause now some dudes trying to sell it for like two hundred, hundred fifty. It's just like come 200 on, two hundred for a, a Funko Pop. If that bitch don't move huh? nothing, then it's not autograph or anything. Like the most I spent like this year was like a hundred on a signed Majin Vegeta one from a Christopher yeah. Savage. Okay, see that's different. That's signed. That's signed. That's a little different, but, but I, I ain't think not sign. No, it's not worth it. Like that's like niggas acting like it's some ten foot tall action figures back in the day that was like had like a thousand joints of articulation. You can't even justify paying retail for a Funko Pop because they're so fucking ugly. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's there's no way you could justify to me or okay, I guess that's as someone who doesn't collect figurines like that, 
Like, there's no way I would be so down bad to pay two hundred dollars on a plastic vinyl figure. <laughs> it's the fact that's she's not signed. I'll do it. The, okay, it's the fact that's, that's, she's signed the one one that's not signed. The one that's not signed or like autographed or anything like that. I don't know, man. But that's just me, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the pandemic and shit. To just like went up, but it like it's kind of like what the fuck, like. I was looking for posters like I want to say probably June of last year honestly like around that time and I was looking for posters online and I wanted to get like frames and everything man some of these posters I got like I had got like a Sours one from like not even Big Locks what was it Hobby Lobby I got that shit for like five dollars Online, they were selling that shit for like sixty dollars, and that was without the frame. And with a frame, it's it went up like hundred, two hundred dollars. I'm like, come on, bro, for a five dollar poster, it's not even a real like movie poster or anything like that. Like, it's not even authentic. It's like a reprint. Is there on it other stuff y'all notice? It's just like way more people just like reselling or just like on websites like Amazon or eBay. <laughs> I don't know about reselling. Really? I know about delivery time has been affected. Yeah. I watched a few streamers. Not, not, not delivery. Like, shit. Are you saying like shipping? Like the shipping went up? Or are you just talking about like, like, like delivery? De- delivery <laughs> time has been like, like, let's say like a PC part. Um, Some some companies can't even ship it, you know, within a reasonable time. You, It's like they got to ship it within three to six months. I've noticed that. <laughs> It's not a resale, but it's like delivery of your product is now um, delayed a lot. The thing with the PC parts is because they sell the the parts before they get manufactured, so it's kind of, you know they, the supply chain's all messed up, so it's going to take a long time for them to make the PC parts and get it to you. And they probably have a long wait list of you know orders that haven't been filled yet. Yep. It's the same reason why PS5s and Xboxes are. To get I mean, there's also another couple right there. Computer parts, the chips. I still shouldn't be going for that much, though. Bang! Oh, no, they shouldn't, yeah. People are dumb for buying them at that, those prices, too. Uh, they're like dumb retro desperate. consoles and stuff? Time to go to a pawn like, shop. I don't know if y'all saw that. They gonna fuck you <laughs> over, too. And they be selling, like, Nintendo Switches for, like... It'd be used for, like, fucking $400. Like, is you good? Trying so I'd be to fool. seeing that shit on offer up. Like seriously, who are you trying to fool? Because people oh, wait, you still use Opera? access to the internet and just search. Of course. I thought you dropped that out. Just steals and deals sometimes. I dropped it for a second when I got banned. Oh shoot! But that's a whole other story. <laughs> Old games and like retro consoles that went up too. Like when Sony was fake acting like they were gonna shut down the uh, PS3 servers. There's a lot of games, like the Ratchet and Clank, Clank games. Some of them were like 90 bucks, 100, 70. It's like, bro, I might as well just get a PS5 game. Like, what the heck? It's crazy because it's two. It's only two. It's only two. Two. Two of well, I guess if you, I mean, if you count the third one, but that's a reboot and that's on the PS4. But the other two, you know, them PS2 titles. And I do see what you mean because I remember when you was trying to get Brutus Tinkaichi. I think it was three. And that mug was like, I think it was like yeah, 90 it, something or maybe even more than that. No, it was more, bro. So me, Kiki and King, you know, we went to a, it's not even a store. I'm going to give you the buck. It's just like, uh, I can't even say it's, it's like a little rundown, like little shop, not even like a garage, basically <laughs> in like the middle of nowhere. And Nigga went to a mini warehouse. <laughs> basically, basically like a little like dog that shit was like. small as hell I'm surprised them niggas ain't get robbed yet I hope not cause that, that place bro I feel like I got robbed <laughs> like <laughs> going in there like the Dragon Ball Z the, the, cause I was gonna originally buy that game the dude was gonna sell me just the disc for um I think he agreed to like 90 or something some shit and it's Budokai Tenkaichi 3 and for people that are not like in a Dragon Ball or 
video games that game is super rare especially like all over the world because it, it sold well in the u.s but it it didn't sell at all like it, it wasn't a lot of copies like in japan and like overseas and stuff and this one is like special because it comes with the actual case in a good condition and like a bonus dvd and i didn't really give a fuck about that shit i just wanted the game game but they kind of reneged on that when i went back there and Dude, you can, like, they, you they can watch like, the bonus content on, on youtube I couldn't, find it. I couldn't find it i tried looking for it but they wanted 250 dollars for that god damn ebay is going for like 200 maybe even more maybe like 270 i wasn't paying that shit i can't get myself to pay for that not worth it not, 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 not no like old that, that. marvel versus capcom 2 the disc version of that that goes for like 300 dollars even without a case. That, that's how rare that game is. And I remember I had that digitally on 360, but you can't get that digital no more, like, because of all license reasons and shit. And, that, and that's why, like, physical video games are getting, like, rare. And it's gonna be a funny ass shift because 10 years from now, the PS5, it's gonna be obsolete because everything's, like, connected to servers and shit. So your, your stuff is probably not even going to work. That's, that's kind of scary. Yeah. You already, you already see it with like games like 2K and stuff. Hell yeah. They shut that server down. So all that money you didn't spend on your little character, that shit gone. I got to get more VC. <laughs> that VC gone. My, my team points. Oh, shoot. Is there any Pokemon games that are reselling? Like old, like Game Boy and stuff, and DS. Oh, those uh, physical copies of uh, Pokemon games are always expensive. They were always expensive. I remember, like even probably ten years ago, at GameStop or any like uh, game resale place, you know, a copy of Pokemon Emerald, like used, it would be going for sixty, seventy dollars just for the cartridge. And then, you know, new in box, three hundred. Those games have always been uh, expensive. But I don't have to yeah, worry no, about it because I, I, I always bought them on you know release day, so I have them. But for those poor fuckers who didn't get them, you know, it sucks. You can always download the ROMs and play it, but you know, it's not the same because you can't play it on the actual uh, hardware that it's it was meant to be on. That's like pretty much, well, well I'm not going to get into like the stock market because I don't really know anything about crypto and all that other bullshit, but I, I heard that shit crashed. Seven, aren't you one of those victims? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh shoot! You're a victim. Oh, here we go, CSI. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in the long run, it's not that much money, but it still hurts. Mm, do you want to talk about it? Do you need a hug, sir? No, I need money. <laughs> we all need money. I'm about to start this OnlyFans right now. No, I'm just kidding. But oh uh, yeah, um... shit, <laughs> finna start, nigga. You know how many feature mixtapes? How many? What? What? Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> no, excuse Come me. again? <laughs> I, oh, I but... did that already. But um, I think this was a cool episode. Um, please don't be one of those niggas that are reselling Popeyes chicken sandwiches. I don't need to see that shit again. Please don't be a reseller. You know it's gonna be something Remember else. Remember that. Yeah, leave Miss Shirley alone. Shit, she fucking tired. Yeah, if you uh, enjoy the show, definitely d- donate to us because we take donations on donations. the Anchor app. Donations. donations, donations. We take ninety nine cents, five ninety nine, ten ninety nine. Or we'll take grow. more than that. Shit, send as much as you want. Donations and definitely. Fo- Follow me at St. Foreman on Twitter. Send in some suggestions or even DM me if you want to be on the episode. Shameless Any special shout outs for you yeah. guys? Any special shout outs? Any shout outs? Uh, f- follow my homie Ch- uh, Che Nero Gaming. I edit his videos and shit on YouTube. Go ahead and go look at his live streams on Twitch. Yeah. The PSA. Go get your COVID vaccine. And he Nets and fun. And remember... All men in the H50 should check in with their PCP to get the capacity to get Also, call oh, man. at that age. All right, this was a good show. 
and we'll check you guys out in the next one peace peace